Here she is. It's a night of the living dead. Oh, never, ever again. I feel as sick as a dog. Here you go, love. Black coffee, three sugars. Get that down, yeah. Ah, I'm so stupid. It's totally crucial I get all this right, and I've got no staff, no food. Well, I'm going to uh, nip to that agency place today, see if I can at least get some staff to wait on, eh? Oh, would you? Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm nipping into town anyway. I've got one of my meetings. Oh, right. Are you um, a bit worried because Kevin's turned up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Well, won't be a bad idea. Show me face anyway, will it? No. No, it's good for you to go. Oh. Oh dear, love, it must be bad if you can't drink your coffee. Oh, boot's well and truly on the other foot now, isn't it? Here's me sitting here all hung over, and you bright eyed and bushy tailed. Not touched a drop in months. <laughs> Can you stop? My head's banging. I think I might have put my shoulder out carrying you home. Oh, don't exaggerate. I wasn't that bad. Leanne and Carla put away twice as much as I did. Yeah, well, it's easier to cope with alcohol poisoning at their age. Anyway, I can't imagine why you went out with them in the first place. Just happened. Oh, and is it going to just happen again when Leanne throws his hard hat party? <sighs> I mean, I was hoping you'd show a bit of solidarity and stay away. Mm, I was loving mummykins this morning. Good. Don't feel spewy or old. Nice one. And then add the urge to eat any coal or trainers or what have you. I think that comes later. Mm. Do you reckon you should go and see the doctor? What for? Well, you know, to get it confirmed and everything. I told you, I already peed on a stick. There it was. I'm totally pregnant. Yes, but they'll be able to tell you when you're going to give birth. Ooh, I've got it's like a grey army. Anyway, I don't want to think that far ahead. And you know twins running my family. Stevie, I ain't even got used to the idea of one baby yet. Never mind two of the beggars. Oh, stop stressing, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't even imagine it. Me pregnant, like, out here, all soft and mumsified. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. I have just come face to face with the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. It must have come from Africa on a banana or something. Where is it? Well, I was just bottom in your bedroom and there it is, just turning up at me. Nasty, nasty, little freak of nature. We'll see if it's still there. Yeah, well, be careful, won't you, because they bite. The size of that one, it could have your arm off. Do you fancy a brew? All right, go on, then. Do you know, I, I'm not usually such a, a wuss around things like that. I could quite happily bash the brains of any creepy crawler. But then things, oh. He's a big lad, isn't he? Stay away from me with that. Why don't you give him a little stroke? Oh. That's the only way you're going to get over your phobia. Here. Ah! <laughs> your face! <laughs> oh, you started early. I'm doing the catering for Betty's party. Not a bad idea, though. It's almost midday. Oh, no, not for me, mate. I'm, uh, I'm off into town in a minute. Hi, maybe later. So, did you uh, sort the caters for your due? Uh, no, not yet. I could do it for you. Small fee. Well, that's not a bad idea, actually. We'll, uh, we'll talk about menus and all that later. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got to get off now. Oh, um, I've just remembered I need some bits and bobs from the shop. OK. Um, you aren't going to pick up Simon after school, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I hope you're not going to lead him astray. He's always liked the point. We're ex-Navy. Goes with the territory. Yeah, but his problem is he doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> you're not exactly teetotal yourself. You were totally legless last night. Yeah, well, that was a one-off. I'll tell you why he's just had to rush off, shall I? He's going to town, he said. No, he's going to his alcohol support group. He's turned his life around thanks to them, and I don't want him going off the rails again. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Hey, look at this. I'm going to stick this up behind the bar. <laughs> a bit of free publicity for the Rovers. You've changed your tune. Yeah. Oh, don't damage those photos, cos Gordon wants them all back. Ah, oh, that's a shame, cos I was going to stick a muzzy on that one. <laughs> I'm 
sure Betty would see the funny side. Not. <laughs> oh, them cobbles had visions of us falling over, cake going flying. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like when you're standing on top of a really tall building, you know, and you feel like you're going to jump off. <laughs> it's really funny, cake. I'll have a look, see. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> right, uh, would you mind taking it through to the back and then I'll come in and take a look with you? Hey! Oh, these are great. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny how she looked middle aged even when she was young? Hey, don't let Betty hear you say that. She'll knock your head off. I'll go and see if I can find that banner because Betty will feel robbed if she doesn't get one. So, how are things? Great, yeah. Oh, I've been a right silly cow, but Stevie's taught some sense into me now and everything's just funky dory. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. I'm dead chuffy, I really am. I got you this. Oh, what? Now, I've marked the pages for you. Green means basic information, what to eat, things like that. Bright yellow, that's the more medical side of it. Oh, I dread to think what them red ones are fine. Yeah, they're your full colour photos of childbirth, but they're a bit war zone. So you might want to leave those till last. Yeah. Thanks for that, Claire. Um, I I'm just going to stick this behind the bar, I'll have a look at it later. Well, if there's anything else you want to know, then just ask. So those little things that only a mother would know, like, um... Where to bolt by nipple pads and how long you have to sit on your rubber ring while your stitches heal, that's sort all. Of... Oh, great, yeah. Um, do you know what? I've got to get a move on because I've got an appointment at the doctor's. Oh, well. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Let me know how you get on. Hey. Hi, my name's Peter. I'm an alcoholic. Hello, Peter. Hello. Uh, well, I've not, I've not been for a bit, but I thought I'd best bob in today because I had a bit of a, you know, I had a bit of a slip last night. Well, it's good that you're here. Yeah. And I found myself with a bottle of wine in my hand. And I thought, why not? You know, why not? I mean, just one little mouthful. What harm's it gonna do? You've all been there, mate. So, I did. And, uh it was like coming home. You know what I mean? It, it just felt great. Sounds like you had a moment of weakness. Well, no. Well, no, I, I mean, not really. I mean, that's a funny thing. I mean, I, it didn't feel like that at all. You know what I mean? If, if anything, it just felt like I had a moment of strength because I had a mouthful and I stopped. I put that bottle down and I walked away from it. You know, so that's... I mean, that's a good thing, isn't it? You're fooling yourself, Peter. It's good that you stopped there, but none of us can underestimate the power of this illness. Oh, no, no. No, I know, I realise that. But what I proved to myself last night was that I can just have one drink. I can. You know, I, I know now that I don't have to just drink myself into that oblivion every time. Who it is? Weatherfield's answer to David Attenborough. Well, <laughs> there. Right, what can I get you? Oh, I feel like throwing caution to the wind today. Go on, surprise me. Uh, oh, but not cheese. No, it repeats on me. Right. And not uh, salad. My auntie choked to death on a piece of bread chard. Still haunts me to this day. OK. Oh, and not bacon or sausage, cos I can't abide an oily slick on my tongue. Cannot abide it. Just give her ham and tomato on a butter, as per, and I'll have a sip. Me and all. Um, <clears throat> I hear you've moved in with Jan. Yeah, still got a bit more stuff to bring over. Oh, I hope you don't mind me asking, but uh, do you have a significant other? Hey. Girlfriend. Oh, boyfriend. We don't want to be heterosexist. Yeah, I was with someone, but she dumped me. Oh. Got a job with DVLA down in Swansea and that with that. <laughs> Never a dull moment with this one. No, she really did leave me for a job at DVLA. Oh, well, forget her. I'll soon put a smile on your face. Put him down. You don't know where he's been. <laughs> That's quite damning, isn't it? Coming second to a career in motor vehicle taxation.
looking for some uh, flat leaf parsley. What do you reckon my chances are? Oh, zero. <laughs> oh well, God loves a swear, as my mammy always like to say. Listen, I'm sorry if I was a bit offhand about the drinking. I had no idea that things had got so out of hand. Oh, Kieran, you don't know the half of it. Peter came this close to losing everything he had. How come? Oh, he's horrible when he's had a drink. Moody, unreliable, he's a terrible dad. One time he got so drunk at the school, had this massive kick-off. His lucky social services weren't involved. Right. And then it all came to a head one night. He got drunk, fell asleep with a fag in his hand and burnt the flat down. He did not. Him and Simon are lucky to be alive. It was touch and go for Simon for a while he'd inhaled so much smoke. Peter was beside himself. I'll look after him. If he's ill with me, not a drop will pass his lips, I promise you that. Another half, love? No time. Sure? No, no, I only came in for one, thanks. Hiya. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought Leanne was gonna pick him up. No, I've just been at a meeting, I turned my phone off. Yeah, I'll come get him. I'm sorry. She'd been taking liberties again. Can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> Guess what? What? It's official. I'm nine weeks gone and I'm due in August. <sighs> oh, me, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you going? I'm going to have a nice lie down. Got a baby to build, do you know what I mean? Where is she then, the birthday girl? <laughs> so birthday biddy, you mean? She's in the back, putting a bit of lippy on. She'll be through in a sec. Ninety years old today, and still a vital member of our community. How wonderful. <laughs> there you go. Do you think that's one of Betty's mates? She's been nursing that milk stout for now on two hours. I don't know. I've never seen her before. Oh, I say all! Oh. Oh. Oh, don't go on, I'm filling up. Oh, oh happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so you're her, are you? The great pretender. I beg your pardon? Manchester's oldest barmaid, indeed. Well, I'm 91, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Hey, don't you come to the hoity with me, missus. Anyway, <laughs> prove it. The last person who spoke to me like that got a slap for her trouble. And you're going the same way. Lay one finger on me, and I won't be responsible for my actions. Ladies, ladies. Now, let's discuss this over a nice milk stout and a ham of on. I am the officially the oldest barmaid in this town. Mm. With this strappy baggage here, don't like it. <laughs> she knows what she can do about it. Right then, I'll prove I'm the eldest. Mm. And then you, lady, will have to eat your words. Sorry, mate. What am I like? Rubbish. <laughs> Standing there like a lemon, weren't you, love? All on your own, Neo. Mrs. Roberts was supposed to be off to badminton. All right, all right. Enough with the guilt trip. I saw Leanne earlier. She said you definitely promised to pick him up. Yeah, I know. I've been up to my eyeballs in it all day. I've been interviewing staff, you know. I just lost track of time, that's all. Can you not set up your phone to beep at you? Hmm. Could I have a word, please? On it, I've seen it on people's mobiles. It's like an alarm clock that goes off to remind them to, to do things. Hmm. I'll think about it. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, no, is my dad in trouble again? I think Grandad's going to make me sit on the naughty step. Yeah. Please tell me you've not been drinking. Oh, that is so flaming typical of you. What, because I have one mint, all of a sudden I'm all over flaming reed? I mean, I'm a staggering about. I'm a slurring my words. No, I'm not. Come on, Simon, we're going. Yeah, take that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Betty. Fire 
Dick, tell me sure they're ready. Well, you're not expecting me to blow that lot out. Hey, you serve your breath, love. You never know when you might need it. Right, everybody, help yourselves to the buffet. Come on, get stuck in. Oh. The lovely spread, Kieran. I'm glad you like it. Beautiful man. You were thinking of doing a wartime theme, weren't you? I was. They talked me out of it. Oh, quite right, too. There's only so much you can do with a powdered egg. Yeah. And my head, he did the cake. He washed his hands first and everything. Oh, good. Here. What? There it is, in black and white, born 1919. So that makes me 91 year old. Hmm. Push your luck with me, love. You might not live to be 92. Yeah, you tell her, Betty. Oh, dear. Well, all right, love, you've made your point. I'll be pulling pints at Parsons' arms till I drop dead. Mm. I bet you can't say the same. Oh, that's where you're wrong, because Betty has got a job here for as long as she wants it. Yeah, she's our very own asset in Crimpoline, aren't you, love? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, you... Betty's day. Let's not spoil it, eh? Well, it's not right, telling lies to the newspaper. Well, it's good to grand this, but I tell you what, I wouldn't say no to one of Betty's hot pots as a chaser. Oh, I bet it's not as good as my bread and butter pudding. Hey, you, it's the elixir of life. I have a couple of week and look at me, I might look, what, 22? I'm actually 84. <laughs> well, if it's that good, I'll have a portion. Thank you very much. Over my dead body, if necessary. Hey, don't you start. Hiya. Hiya. I bought some cans. Is it all right if I put them in the fridge? Yeah, yeah, there's no need to ask. What's mine is yours, within reason. Do you want me to crack you on open? Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. There you go. I've made enough beer to feed an army. Do you like spicy food? Oh, why? Right. Lots of the better. Right, well, I'll be ready in ten minutes. Nice one. <laughs> of course, it's 90 years ago that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police were found. Ooh, that's fascinating, though. No, not on this actual day. It was the 1st of February rather than the 4th. I've never really liked horses. I mean, you're too big for my liking, you know. Horses do the best poos ever. Very good on your horses. Charming. Can I get anybody anything else from the buffet? Not for me, love. I've already undone two buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Times like this, there's a lot to be said for the elasticated waist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shall I get your cap? I'm not going anywhere till I've had an hot pot. Fine. I'll get you a hot pot. It's a flipping show. Hey, you. I heard that. I'll set the salsa tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. Why oh, you're not backing out. Well, perhaps if I had a handsome man on my arm, I might feel a bit braver. Uh, I, I know my limitations, Hayley. I could no sooner dance the salsa than I could fly to the moon. Oh, I'm worried I'll be found wanting. Oh, well, I didn't think you'd have a good sense of it, though. I can tell by the way you walk. What's wrong with the way I walk? You scuttle along like a little bird, like a blue tit, something like that. For your information, my Auntie Monica's minor bird, Paul, rocked in time to Una Paloma Blanca. And if Paul could do it, then I'm damn sure I could. So that's a yes, then. Brilliant. Is that to your satisfaction? There were a lump of gristle in there as big as my elbow. You still managed it, though. Well done, you. Betty? Yes, love? Your cab's here. Oh, ta. Oh, thank you for a lovely evening. It was gorgeous. <laughs> oh, blimey. You're silly, are you? Well, there's no law against it. Look at your miserable face. Do you know, I've seen gargoyles with a pleasanter look than yours. Yes, I'll yes. escort you to the cab, Betty. Right. And happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Hiya. Oh, I'm totally knackered. Hi. You have a productive day, love? Yeah, the bar looks great. We are gonna have the best party ever. Yeah. Oh, I uh I sorted out the stuff for you. Oh, thanks. How did your meeting go? Yeah, well well, thanks, yeah. Do you know what? It got me thinking though. I sort of realised that I don't have to take absolutely everything they say as gospel. What do you mean? Well, it's like everything, isn't it? You take on board the stuff that works for you and you ignore the rest. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's a programme, isn't it? It's tried and tested over the years. But all I'm saying is, you know, 
There's some people that have to stop drinking completely, you know. They have one bowl of sherry trifle and bang, they fall off the wagon. But, you know, really, I'm, I'm not like that. I reckon that I can handle the occasional drink. Yeah, but, well, the whole thing about being an alcoholic is you can't just have the occasional drink, can you? Because, well, one leads to two and then... No, I know that, but I'm much more sus now. I've learnt my lesson. You know, I've... I know my limits. Peter, you have done so well. You don't want to go chucking all the hard work away, Of course you? not, no. Listen, I've... promise me. Just promise me you, you won't start drinking again. Yeah, you're right. Let's play it safe, eh? Oh, Peter, it's never good keeping those kind of secrets. Well, tonight at 10.35, you can see just what it takes to deliver supplies to our soldiers across Afghanistan in new series Road Warriors. Next tonight, though, one little letter is just the start of the, pro the problem in the bill.